That's my uh, two-year-old long-coated shepherd Lobo and uh, he's eating a uh, rear leg off of a deer. This is a mukbang video. My uh, brother-in-law got a deer uh, a week or two ago and was kind enough to uh, give me the legs off the deer for my dogs. That uh, leg is totally frozen. I like to freeze stuff like this before I give, them, I give it to my dogs. It slows them down a little bit. Makes them have to work for it uh, a little more. Keeps them from uh, wolfing it down, so to speak. I feed my dog what's called a barf diet which uh, stands for biologically appropriate raw foods. It's a diet that was developed by a uh, Dr. Ian Billinghurst, who's a veterinarian. He wrote a couple of really good books I recommend, one called uh, Give Your Dog a Bone, the other called Grow Your Pups with Bones. They can be found on Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link to them down below. My dogs live in the house, they don't live outside. The reason why you see dog houses out here is uh, state statute 343.40 requires you to have a dog house uh, out in your yard for your dogs, so that's what that's for. Again, it'll take them probably an hour or two to uh, consume this whole leg, but uh, they will eat the whole leg, hoof and all, all the bone. Raw bones are good for your dogs. Biologically, uh, they are designed to consume it. It's uh, cooked bones you don't ever want to give your dog. Cooked bones are uh, dangerous. Cooking the bone changes the uh, consistency of the bone makes it hard for your dogs to digest it and uh, they can uh, become brittle and uh, cut them. I'm talking about cut them inside in their intestinal tract. One of the things German Shepherds are known to uh, suffer from is gastric torsion, also known as bloat. And uh, one of the things contributing to that is a uh, modern commercial kibble diet. It doesn't take much uh, effort for the dog to digest the kibble and uh, the muscles along their G-track become uh, flaccid and weak which then uh, makes them more predisposed to bloat. Feeding this way uh, takes a little more muscle to move this kind of food through their G-track and uh, as a result conditions it more and uh, again protects them from bloat. Don't take my word for it, do a little research, I'm just some guy on YouTube. There are lots of uh, good websites related to uh, feeding your dog raw, feeding a barf diet. There's also some good resources on YouTube. I recommend uh, you check them out. I've been feeding this way for about 15 years and have had great results. But again, do your research. Not only do I like to uh, feed my dogs a lot of this stuff frozen because it slows them down, but uh, it also can kill any parasites that might be in it. Especially if you're going to feed your dog salmon raw, you want to make sure you feed, uh, freeze the salmon for a few days.
My dogs get all kinds of uh, different meat. Rabbit, deer, beef, chicken, turkey. They also get some offal organ meat. Kurgan's not a big fan of uh, kidney or liver, but uh, Lobo here loves it. Right here we have Kurgan, my uh, 10 month old Blue Bay Shepherd, eating his. He thinks I got something else for him. Keeps looking at my phone like it's some food. <laughs> That's why he was laying down all pretty. Again, this is the way canines were uh, designed to eat. Most of the uh, skeletal muscle diseases uh, you see uh, affecting modern canines are a result of a uh, overly processed commercial diet. Feeding this way helps remedy that. But again, don't take my word for it, do your research. Again, they'll eat this hooves, hair, bone and all. It'll be gone in a couple hours. It's also great exercise for your dog. See that right there is already a big chunk of bone. He's broken off the top part of the femur there, or the uh, tibia or fibia. They'll be getting the uh, upper portion of those rear legs uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. a bunch of the hair and skin off to get it the yummy inside. Well, yummy from his perspective. Kurgan is a 10-month-old uh, Blue Bay Shepherd. Lobo is a two-year-old German Shepherd. A lot of people seem to like these mukbang videos, which is why I film them. Mukbang, for those who are unfamiliar with the word, is uh, an online broadcast uh, of somebody eating large quantities of food. I think this qualifies. He 
and you handsome. You know, if you know people who hunt, especially people who deer hunt, and you have dogs, ask them for the legs off the deer and some of the other scraps that they're just going to throw away. No sense in letting that meat go to waste or those bones when uh, your dogs can utilize them. I'm uh, fortunate to have people who uh, think about me and my dogs when they uh, do get a deer. I like to pet them when they're eating stuff like this. They don't have any problems with uh, them be aggressive when they have food. Part of that is because I do things like pet them when they are eating stuff like this. Well again, it's going to be quite a while till they finish all that, probably a couple hours, but I thought I'd uh, catch a little footage of it and document it. I hope you liked it. If you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button if you liked it a lot. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Bye from uh, Kurgan and uh, Lobo. That's all, folks. Bye.